Rob Parker, the all decade team was named, and thankfully that you know it, they always just seem to have something come out that we can talk about. And the NFL named its all decade team, of course, for the 2010s, and Tom Brady. And Aaron Rodgers were the two quarterbacks. Now, they don't do it, you know, first team, second team. But if you really want to get technical, the fact that Brady was unanimous and Rodgers wasn't, I guess Drew Brees probably got some votes. Uh, Maybe Russell Wilson got a vote or two. Um, Brady was the only one that was unanimous of the the two quarterbacks. Right. And then Brady. Players total, right? Right. That were unanimous. Eight. And Brady also, Rob, became the first quarterback ever to be all decade for two decades. That's an achievement. You know, obviously yep. means you played 20 years or, you know, the bulk of 20 years and, and were great for the bulk of two decades. So that's a huge accomplishment and a feather in Tom Brady's cap. And I, I want to ask you this. I'm going to throw this out to you and let you respond first. Who do you think was the best quarterback of this decade? Aaron Rodgers, hands down, oh no gosh. ifs, ands, or buts. And if you just want to do, uh, throw out to say who won the most Super Bowls and that's the guy, then you would pick Brady. I get that. But that's not what it's about. Because up and down all the, st- all the statistics, and you're talking about the uh, – pocket protectors and the analytics and all the numbers, all the numbers favor Aaron Rodgers, except for the Super Bowl. Really? Yeah. You sure about that? that? Yeah. You sure? Yes. You might want to double check No, I saw the numbers. I saw the numbers. In the playoffs, uh, Aaron Rodgers has a higher uh, QBR. I mean, quarterback rating. Quarterback rating. He has... uh, way less uh, interceptions. He completed more passes than Brady. And also in the regular season during that decade, he had a better completion ratio. He had a, a higher, his, his uh, quarterback rating By was 0.5%. Was 103.6 <laughs> to 99.6. And he had uh, just a smidge under Brady's touchdowns at 305. And he only had 63 well, I thought he interceptions. Had the better stats. Just that one. And the yeah, other well, one just is touchdown, just the most touchdowns with three sixteen. But he had eighty interceptions. He had seventeen. Well, we know Rodgers more. doesn't throw interceptions. Okay, so all I'm saying is, if you look at it other than just saying uh, the Super Bowl, the numbers speak. And I get it. People, when they think about quarterbacks, they think about Super Bowls. So this is one that automatically they're going to just give it to uh, Brady without even looking at the numbers. Wait a minute, he won three. Aaron Rodgers won one. Okay, he's a, he's a quarterback of the decade. I get it. It's hard to win three. Nobody's won uh, six Super Bowls, no quarterback. So when you you split them up, three in one decade and three in the other, that's how he's an all-decade team because he's played 20 years. All I'm saying is that the numbers, if you go by the numbers, I like Aaron Rodgers' numbers better. Rob Parker, stop it! This is the height. Of foolishness. Now, Aaron Rodgers is great. I have no problem. In fact, they got it right. They got the two quarterbacks right. Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers, with all due respect to Drew Brees. But to act like it's even... I mean, you didn't even out, act like it's actually close. You didn't even act like it's in doubt. Oh, no, it ain't close. It, it, it ain't close. You're darn right. And it's Tom Brady by a mile, and I'm going to use your own catchphrase against you. Rob Parker, sports has a short menu. Wins and losses. And Tom Brady, why is he the GOAT? Is he the GOAT? Because he is the, the GOAT. Is he the GOAT? It is even in the conversation for you because his stats are so great? No. He's in the conversation for you because of his winning, and he does have very good stats too. He doesn't have the best stats. So you're going to sit here and try to argue stats? If we want to argue stats, we can make an argument for Drew Brees. It clearly is Tom Brady. He threw more touchdowns. Than Aaron Rodgers. 
Do you mention completion center percentage? It's sixty four point seven for Rodgers, sixty four point two for Brady. Wait how a many, minute. How many All Pro? How many All Pro or, or I should say Pro Bowl receivers did Tom Brady throw to in this decade? He had one wide receiver who made a Pro Bowl in the decade. Wes Welker. You know Can how you- many times? You know how many Aaron Rodgers had four. Greg Jennings, De- Devontae Adams, Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb, four Chris, Pro Bowl receivers to stop, throw to. And stop. Brady still threw more, more touchdowns. Let me see my final thing because you gave all your little numbers. Tom Brady is the only quarterback. Tom Brady in the playoffs has won six games, six playoff games, where the opponent scored 28 or more points. Five of those came this decade. Aaron Rodgers and all the other greats have only two such games. No other quarterback has won more than two playoff games where the opponent scored 28 or more. And this decade, Aaron Rodgers has won. It ain't even close, Rob Parker. It's Tom Brady by a country mile. I can't believe you even are arguing this. It ain't by a country mile because the numbers say what they are. The Aaron, numbers aren't even yes. that far apart. But, but he, Aaron, you, you Aaron Rodgers has better He has better numbers. Inter- but who won more? And Tom the numbers Brady, are close. Tom Brady, won the a su- are close. Tom Brady won a Super Bowl with no touchdowns. He also so coughed up. He I'm won just, three of them this decade. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. He led game-winning drives it's always every about, one of them. It's always about every one Tom of them. Brady did did more with less. That yeah. was that's his mantra. Well, that's what he did. And Aaron Rodgers did it he without did a defense. Do more with less. Did it without a did running what? game. Without a defense. Did what? They, they won. They won seven division titles. They did what plenty. What does that mean? What do you Don't mean? Get that's out of here with that garbage. Division that's not garbage. Title. You're talking it's about, about what did he Super do? Bowl. No, it ain't. Cause you Tom rip, Brady. You rip, you the first LeBron three Super Bowls Luke. were about Adam Vinatieri. They weren't oh, about Tom him. Brady. Really? Go look. Yes. I think really. He's got the ring. Yes. I think really? he led a game-winning drive in yes. every single one of those Super yes, Bowls. Yes, really. It was about, yeah, Alan Venturi had to kick a 55-yard field goal. Who led Could he have kicked it Please. without Brady leading yes, drive? Yes, he could have kicked it with any quarterback driving 40 Stop yards. It. This is Come on. This is ridiculous. Tom Brady, you already you know it. You don't give LeBron credit for winning conference championships, but you want to bring up some old division crown for Aaron Rodgers? Stop yeah, but it. I, but I'm giving you Aaron. It ain't like Aaron Rodgers just has that and doesn't have the what numbers. What does he have? He has all the numbers fact, better than him. Really? He every number's touchdowns? better. Are every, touchdowns better? Every number's Are better. Are touchdowns better? That's the only one. Oh, that's the well, only that, number. You one. just said something wrong then. No, you that's the only number. number. That three oh three sixteen or three oh five interceptions over three, ten years. That's three, not even two per year. Stop it, Rob Parker. No, you got I'll that. I'll be shocked. If even one caller agrees with you. And every GM, you better whenever get they your poll boy it, Max on the they, line or whoever talk, he is from Georgia. They talk about who would you take. If you're just looking at this and not looking at how the Super Bowls were won or lost, I would take Aaron Rodgers 10 out of 10 what? times I, what, over what, Tom what Brady. You over can't say Tom Super Brady. Bowl plural with Aaron no. Rodgers? Yeah, I'm talking about. He, he got also, one. He's been were, in one. Yeah, but there were two other times. Aaron Rodgers had four playoff Was he games in the Super where Bowl? his defense gave up 40 or more points. 40 or more. How could you, you get to a Super Bowl? You didn't give Tom Brady credit when How his could defense you get to gave a Super up 41 Bowl? against Philadelphia? He Did gave you give up Tom Brady four- credit no, but for he throwing for 505 yards or record? No, but he, he for choked. 33 points? He gave up the ball you with three minutes so to go. You are so hypocritical. This no, is I'm ridiculous. Not. You, are, you are just trying to... Fudge the numbers. Tom Brady the led a scoring drive in every one of those Super Bowls. Those are phony, Chris, You're try and you to know give it. Credit. A scoring gonna... drive, a field yeah, goal. How, they that's just what won it's about, Rob. It's his about last, scoring. His last Super Bowl, they won. Tom Brady didn't throw a touchdown, and they gave the Super Bowl this MVP is foolishness. to a wide receiver who didn't even so have a what? touchdown. A that's how game. bad Brady was. The that's how bad Brady was. Does Brady have six? 
Aaron Rodgers would. How bad was Aaron Rodgers Brady against is, San Francisco Brady last? Brady is the low. Th- this Brady season? is the luckiest of all time. That's Stop why he has it. six. Stop it! That 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 refrain is so old and so tired. It ain't even tired. It's tired. Speaking of that, I'm tired of this gibberish. Let's see what the callers think. 877-99 on Fox. 877-996-6369. It's your turn to weigh in. Who was the best quarterback of the decade? (laughs) Can't even believe we're asking this. Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady? I don't think it's close and neither does Rob. What do you think? 877 99 words in my mouth. You don't know you what I'm thinking. You said it wasn't close. No, it wasn't. wasn't close. Oh, yeah, okay. that's what I said. I said, I don't think it was close, and neither does Rob. That was correct, right? Yes. Yes. But you were wrong about so much. Tom Brady actually had more yards per game as well. 280 per game versus 269 for Rodgers. And in the playoffs, it was even more pronounced. 316 yards per game for Brady. 271 for Rodgers. So your premise that Rodgers had the stats, I don't know. He what does have the about. stats. Go passer through all rating, the other. That's it. Yeah, go through all the other. Passer Brady rating tells you about how well you play Brady's got as more a quarterback. Super Bowls, more no. And more pa- yards. Passer rating what is very is important. It tells you <laughs> what else about is everything combined okay, keep put that. together. Keep that, in your, keep that yes. in your purse. Let's see what the. Uh, I don't have a purse. Let's put think. that in your put that in your bonnet. Under your bonnet, you keep it there. Jay to the callers. in Massachusetts, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. Hey, Rob, this is your boy Jay, the Steelers fan from New Bedford, Mass. Yeah, I got what's the up? all the way, baby. I think Brady, I think Aaron Rodgers is way better than Brady. Brady's never wowed me, not once. Never did I ever hear anybody He didn't wow you that ball. year with Randy Moss? No, they lost the Super Bowl. 50 you remember touchdowns? that? You remember Don't you dare ball? talk about One losing year, Super year, Bowls, Rob. Year. At least he gets there. There's a saying out here, it was 18 and nope. Sorry, that wasn't impressing me. Sorry. You How about all, all the times he beat your Steelers? That impress you? Dude, he's been in a he's been a week in a weak division the whole time he's you, played. Yes, you don't get he to the gets Super an Bowl automatic win in the division. Yes. The division is an automatic ride. The you get a bye. All you have to do is win two games. He won at least yes. every 11 games every single yes. season of the yes. decade. And he only won 11 once. He won 14 games several times, 13 games several times, 12 games several times. What are you talking about? Foolishness. Come with some facts. I got a bunch of dudes got all facts. up in their feelings. Just because you're screaming, like Brady, just cause you're screaming on the radio true. don't mean you're right. Mark in New Orleans, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. Yeah, how you guys doing? Doing all right. We're good, man. How are you? How, how all you right. Hey, Chris. Yes. I got I to gotta side with you. Tell Rob to stop it. Listen, <laughs> before I say what I want to say, I tell it like it is. I'm a Brady hater, but I, I can't say Rodgers is better than him of the decade. There it is, brother. That's all I'm asking for, objectivity. That ain't Good objectivity. Job. He's just jealous because he lived in New Orleans, had to watch the Aints all those years. Tony Aints in ain't Texas. Been bad recently. I'm just talking about all those years. He didn't sound <laughs> like a young pup. Tony in Texas, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. It has to be Tom Brady. Look at all the Super Bowls he's won. Did but he uh, win him or did the defense win it? Who won it? Him well, or the defense? Well, you can say the same I'm thing about Joe you. Montana. Uh, Joe Montana no, was the same no, way. Who no, won the Super Bowl? no, no. Not true. It was true. the defense. And Tony, Hawaii what are you talking about? With a catch. Tony, Did the I mean, defense Tony, did you watch Atlanta right? Yes, they kept them, about really. They kept them scoreless they, in the they second half. Up to score they kept them scoreless. Points. They kept he them scoreless. Every single possession of the, of the second half. They kept them scoreless. That's Who why they the won. Points, though? No, they but they had to keep them. No. <laughs> They had to. They what had to the keep them scoreless. Half? It's not two half. It's they two pl- halves. Yes, right? They played. What was the defense the first when half? When it mattered, the first, the second half. What it did was Brady the do when it mattered? The he same threw, thing. He scored when all they the beat the Rams, the Rams had the fifth greatest you offense are, in the is, history of the NFL. This is just foolishness. Let's Mark keep in Sacramento, on. you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's going on, gentlemen? What's up, man? You speak some. I hope you're gonna bring some truth. No, no, no. You know. I'm. What? I'm. I'm Chris, I'm going to bring some facts, okay? You said bring facts. I always yes, bring, bring facts. Bring facts. Facts is fact number one. The first Super Bowl and the last Super Bowl, he didn't do crap. I don't care no, what you say. He, he didn't do nothing. nothing. Didn't he, lead he did the game nothing, when he Chris. Drives? Chris, let me, let me who, finish. Who, who laid the game when he drives? Chris, Mark? can he talk? <laughs> let Mark talk. Can, can, 
Who led the game winning drives? Okay, but he didn't do crap the whole game. He got one drive. One drive. Okay. One drive. That's enough. It's about winning. You play to win the game. Chris, can we hear the caller? Can we get the (laughs) listener, please? Back, Back number two. The other two, they were cheating. They were recording players, which really? nobody wanted to talk fact? about, and they burned so. that film so nobody can see it. So I'm not taking that. That's fact. And fact number three, whether you want to admit it or not, Chris, it is more about Belichick's defense stopping no players doubt. when they have to than it is no him. Doubt. It is. Did they stop okay, Philadelphia which, those are facts, when they brother. had to? No, those are facts, Did brother. Those are the facts. Those are facts. Did they stop Philadelphia They when stopped they had the to? Rams, who had the fifth greatest offense in the history of the NFL. Did and they Tom stop Br- Nick They Foles, stopped Rob? the Rams and won that Nick Super Foles? Bowl. They stopped the greatest show on turf. Brady's Did- first Super Bowl. They stopped that team. It's defense, Chris. Stop it. It ain't really? about Tom Brady. If it was he's defense, been on the bandwagon for the ride. Super Bowl. He's been on for the ride. The two That's losses why. to the Giants. Where was the defense on the last drive? Tom of each Brady game? was terrible in those games against Eli Manning. Why could really? He got yeah. him in position to win, and the no, defense didn't. couldn't hold up. He was supposed. To, they against were averaging. Eli Manning. They were averaging thirty-eight points a game, and they scored fourteen. What happened to Tom Brady in that? Were that was the Randy ahead. Moss. No, no. In the Where were they? That was the Randy the Moss year. Held, Stop it, Chris. Your numbers are won. fuzzy. The only but, thing fuzzy is your new beard. Mark in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Fox Sports Radio. Hello, Mark. this is Mark, Mark in Virginia. How are you gentlemen doing? I hope we are I good. Find- we just I hope, I find, today. hope you find you in good health and, more importantly, in good spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We um, are. One thing I just wanted to add, and you'll probably talk about it a little later on, I'm saddened to hear about the passing of Bobby Mitchell. Um, I'm a diehard yes. Cleveland fan. I was in the stadium in Red Right 88 in the bleachers, and uh, I go back a little way on that one as Ozzy Newsom reached out, and, oh, boy, the man that intercepted it couldn't catch a cold, but that's – Way off track here, but uh, Bobby Mitchell, what a, what a tremendous player and one yep. of the worst moves that that Paul Brown made. And the reason being, um, you know who he traded him for? No. Jim Brown was really saddened by it, too. They were a good, good combination uh, with uh, Mitchell coming out of the backfield, catching. No one can remember who they traded him for. That's how bad it is. All, All right, can, Mark. Can, thank you, brother. We appreciate the call. All right, we've got. And on his, on his way great. out, on his way out, he said that uh, Aaron Rodgers. Just to let you know, <laughs> we are waiting. Uh, we will be joined momentarily by Eric Dickerson. Uh, but Rob, let me ask you this: One thing, Eric. You know, Eric, you you saw the Rams' new logo, and uh, no one seems to like it. Uh, least of all the fans. And Eric Dickerson, it, it, the great Rams, great. He doesn't like it either. He went to bat for the fans. Talked to some of the uh, high-ranking officials with the Rams, and he has said that they're not changing their minds. They're going with this new logo. Well, here's Eric. We're going to get to him right now. Eric, welcome to the Odd Couple. <laughs> What's up, Eric? What's up, guys? How you hey, hanging out in there, man? You you safe and, and healthy and everything? Yeah, I'm good. Thank God. You know, I'm, I'm good. You know, family's good. Um, good. I'm praying for everybody else out there that's, you know, can caught this virus and, you know, struggling with any kind of any financial situations because I mean it's tough on all of us. I mean, I, right. I feel it too. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a different world, yep. man. It's a different world. Yep. Well, let's let's get. We got so much to get into with you, but first let's start with the logo. Um, I I really applaud you for going to bat for the fans, um, and I think also for yourself, you probably just didn't like the new logo either. <laughs> um, but I applaud you for going to bat with for them and talking to the officials about maybe changing it. I actually thought I saw a post you made. You had two graphics that I guess the fans did. And one of them I thought was spectacular. And mm-hmm. um, I would have loved to seen the Rams go with that. But anyway, they're saying they're not changing it. Talk about why you think it should be changed and why they've decided not to change it. Well, let's talk about why we think we should change it. Let's, let's go with that one first. I think, and, and not even go to change. How about we, when, when we when we talked about changing the logo and the colors and everything, I think they, they got I think they got the colors right. And but let's talk about how about all the great artists in LA, in, in Los Angeles. How about just the city of LA? I mean, we've been gone for twenty two years. Now you're back. 
you want to try to maybe have just a little bit of different identity that, than the Rams had years ago and the Rams from St. Louis. I can, I can, I can relate to that. But how about getting some, one of the great artists, or some of the great artists here in L.A. together and say, hey, Dick, look, this we're looking for. This we want. We're going to get, put it out, and, and we're going to use 10 of the best artists in L.A. Right. Think about all of the, the, the artists. And they, they, they use a spray can to spray stuff and how right. fat, fabulous it looks. Even the, the, just the, with, with the passing of Kobe, all of the beautiful Kobe murals. I mean, how great would it have been if our fans would have been engaged in that? Like, okay, and whoever, whoever we, we, the, the guy, the girl we choose, choose, choose the logo to work with, we're going to get them season tickets for, for life or for 10 years, wow. and we're going to give them $50,000. Just to say, this, I, I just going to say $50,000. That's a great man, idea. You know, that would have helped, too. People would have been fans. going crazy. Yeah. It would have been like, man, I mean, that would have brought even on new Ram fans. Because right. if, if, if my, let's say my, 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 my daughter, or your son would have been affiliated with that logo and had something to do with it. Or, or, or they can't, they, we like, we like, we like Rob's logo. We're going to use that one. Man, and say you wasn't a Ram. Say you weren't even a football fan. Now you're a football fan because you know what? That's my That's logo. Right. That's mine. That's right. You know, that, that brings, that brings, that, that brings the city together. But I think they, I just think they missed the ball on that. And, you know, now why they're not going to change it? They say they like it. They, they say they like it. it. It has nothing to do with football. It, it really doesn't. Um, I forget the, the, is they there a it, rule? But, you know, are there like because they've gone this far? Is it like no? They can't I don't know, change some it. Copyright, were, yes. yeah, where it's you just couldn't that. change it back even if you wanted to. You can't, nah, you know, they couldn't. Nah, they couldn't change it. It would cost them too much money. They couldn't change right. it back if they wanted to. I mean, it's, it's, this what's the kind of uh, Fabi? I can't pronounce it. The Fabi numbers. Something to do with numbers. I can't think of the name of it. Um, oh. it's, it's it's something with a numerical something. This is what it's all about, and the. Uh, Fabianic but, but, numbers or something, but Eric, uh, maybe th- th- this this is this is unfortunately, uh, you know, people would open up a new stadium. They want to kind of give a, you know, splash the franchise with um, some new paint or whatever. And I don't understand what franchises. It's different if you're uh, 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 an expansion team or an also ram team or something. But I don't understand why you would change what you have. The Rams are from L.A. Everybody's already – everybody feels, you know, good about the Rams because of their history. And some of the greatest teams in this country – in sports in this country have never changed their logo, changed – you know what I mean, the Yankees, the Red Sox. I could go on and on and on about certain teams. I don't get it. I just – I think it's – is it a money grab? Is it just to no, get people to buy new – It's not a money grab. It's really not. I'm telling you, it, it's – something to do with this numerical numbers I, I, I guess it's the fabionic number some some number system and when the guy explained it to us on the phone about you know it's the curve of the ocean with the with the horn you look at the ocean the curve like like a surfer that's the surfing and the curl and the earth and the, the mountains i'm like if man, you what gotta explain do all that how's the that, average fan you. gonna relate like, to that <laughs> man you, now you said you said it best it's, it's a disconnect with I mean, with with I guess the, some of some of the Ram organization and the fans, it's, it's a real disconnect there. If I'm a fan, I'm not looking at the curve of the ocean. I want to see our uniform that look hella good. You know, right. I always say you look good, you play good. <laughs> you know, if you ain't looking, if you ain't playing good, at least, you, at, least, at least you know what, man, they look good. I like it's like me. Look, I'm a Dodger fan. I'm a Dodger fan. But man, do I like that Yankee logo? Yes, I do. I mean, I like the way it looks. Right. I don't. I mean, I I, I bought a I bought a Yankee hat just because I like. And I'm not a Yankee fan. I right. Like the logo. Right. I do. I like, I like the a, logo. People, that 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 logo is iconic. Right. People who don't even have anything to do with the Yankees or New York, it it does. It, it that logo is special. Well, and Rob and I were talking about that Rams helmet. Is now are they still going to have the horns the way they always have? Because that's that's so unique that in the NFL. Man, I don't. Man, you know what? Nobody's seen it. I don't know. I wow. mean, I, I just. I, I hope they do. The the uniforms look so good. I mean, look. I understand that they they go into a new stadium. They want to make a few changes, but that, that's fine. But you know, just leave the horn alone because the right. horn looks so good. I mean, right. don't please don't please don't put that that goat looking thing on the helmet because it looks <laughs> like a goat to me. I mean, I mean, and, and I mean, I'm, I'm I mean, I'm, I mean, I know I know the fans are frustrated. I'm frustrated, but hey, I mean, hey. I work for the team, but I'm I'm like this, and I, I've said this before, I've said this before, and I'll always say this. I'll never be anyone's yes man. 
That's not right. me. If you want me, if you want my real opinion, my my dad, my dad had a thing. He said, "Son, the truth is the truth all the way around the world." He said, "The truth is not popular all the time. You might not like it, but it's the truth." And the truth is, is that <laughs> it's just not good looking. I mean, look, you guys even say it. I mean, I'm, you're probably not Ram. Y'all not Ram fans. You're not real Ram fans. No. But, you, but you know, you know, you know when something looks good, you, you call it like you see it. Yep. Yep. But before you go, Eric, let's ask you. Let's ask you this. Rob and I have been debating this. You saw the All Decade team come out. Uh, we both agree they got it right with the two quarterbacks, Brady and Aaron Rodgers. But I think Rodgers, or I think Brady was clearly the best quarterback of the decade. Rob thinks it was Aaron Rodgers. What, what's your answer? And, and Eric, let me just give you. The, let me just well, give hold you on, this. Rob. We, no, no, I just, no, 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 no. no. We both say can, this. If you, if I don't get time to give my let me, explanation, <laughs> you shouldn't get time. Let let me, Eric knows he's watched more I, football than us. Okay, go ahead. Just I give just, us the I, answer. <laughs> uh, okay, well, okay, let me say, what do you want to say? What, what do you want well, who, to say? Who do you think was the best quarterback of the decade, Brady or or Rodgers, or do you think it was somebody else, Drew Brees or Russell Wilson or somebody else? Well, I, I, I'll, I'll say this much here. I mean, four is man, you, you, the guy who has all the all the the hardware, Check. and everyone thinks he's the greatest. I mean, it's, it's Tom Brady. I mean, I mean, he really is. I mean, and, you know, I think four. If you if, if if you if if I had Rodgers with the Patriots. I think we'd be talking different. <laughs> I mean, I think it'd be a different story. I think, I think for sure, Aaron is more talented, but I think I they got it right. But I, I think, I think they got it right because you can't take a look. It's not Tom Brady's fault that he played for the Patriots. He played for a great coach and a great organization. That's not his fault. You, you don't blame him. I mean, and you don't, you don't, and you don't dock him for it. You know, you have to give him his just due. It's like you know, we think about running back and say Emmitt Smith has them all-time yards, but is Emmitt Smith the greatest runner of all time? I mean, you, you could debate that. No. I mean, I mean, I, and I, and I love, and I love him. Emmitt's one, Emmitt's one of right. my friends. But you, you, one you of them, but like no, he's not and, and, and Right, and you, and you don't die, you don't dock Emmitt because he played for the Cowboys. Hey, he played for the Cowboys, and he did what he did. So you give him the respect. So I would have to go, I'd have to go with Tom Brady for sure. But like I said, if both of them play, if, I, I, if, if, if Aaron Rodgers was, was, was with um, – Belichick, uh, we'd be talking. It, this would be a different story for sure. Eric, great stuff. The, always sober minded, always intelligent. <laughs> you know, always bringing the facts. I love it. That's why I love having you on, man. Great hey, stuff. Man. Well, you can. Uh, so you see all that stuff. You can always call me anytime you want. All right, we we will be calling you. Trust me, especially during this time, we will be calling okay, you, man. Brother. But stay, right, safe, stay safe, man, and okay, man. Uh, healthy and, and all that. All right, it's the great okay, Eric Dickerson right, okay. joining us.